I wish my custom controller was here. Hi there, what can I do for you? Uh, hi, we have a controller here for Minecraft Lover 34. Oh, that's me, just pass the controller over here. Minecraft over 34 here and welcome to my unboxing video. So today I'm going to be unboxing my very own Xbox One custom controller. If you see on the bottom of the box it says you designed it, we build it. So I just received this controller today and I thought I'll do an unboxing video for you guys. I've never done one of these before so I might not be the best at it but first let's get to looking at the box. Okay guys, so first let's take a look at the box. As you can see, on the front of the box, it says you designed it, we built it. On the front, it also has the layout of the controller itself. So this controller has the Xbox logo, but it doesn't have any colors showing that this is a custom remote. On the back of the box, we have some things that say, I'll just zoom them in for you guys. There's two things that say made with Xbox Design Lab, and also there's something that says a wireless controller. Again, on the back, we just do have the two, just a regular controller here, as you can see, but there's there's no real colors to it. It's just a white controller. Again, because it is a custom controller, we also have the Microsoft, we also have the Microsoft logo in the bottom left corner. The top is just white. And then the sides, um, on the first, on one of the sides, there's a, there's a controller, so you can see here, there's a controller, the ABYX buttons, a D-pad, uh, there's also the view and menu buttons, and thumbsticks. And it also says this includes two AA batteries to power your remote, you just can't see that. The other side continues the controller on the back, and it just has the Microsoft Corporation stuff. So now we're going to be opening up the box because, well, the video is called unboxing. So next we're going to be opening up this box and seeing its contents. Okay, guys, so I'm super excited to open my controller. Let's just lift this up here and there we go. Let's just take that out of the box so you can get a better look along with the batteries. There we go, my Xbox One remote. As you can see, the color output has changed a lot. Just if you look at the photon blue and go comparing it, the color output has changed. And same with the electric green D-pad as well. Sorry that you can't see that, I'll just put it like this. Same with the electric D-pad, the electric green D-pad, you can see that the colors have changed a little bit. But it overall gets a, gives a darker feel, and I like that darker feel to the controller. The ABYX, can, the ABYX button is just the same as the regular remote. We got this Xbox button here. It is a little bit smaller. I just wanted to look at that. It's a little smaller than a traditional Xbox logo. So that's the neat thing about it. The view and menu are also a tiny bit lighter. And the thumbsticks are the photon blue. Now if we flip this over, we can see the bumpers. We can see the bumpers and the triggers. And also the back of the controller as well. So that looks really neat. So I'm going to put the batteries in it and see how this looks lit up. And then just try and connect it to my Xbox. So I'm going to try and connect it right now. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so as you can see, if you see the Xbox light on, 
this controller has been paired with my Xbox One, and I can't wait to play many more games with it. So thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!